evening, everyone. We're here with an interesting review. This is going to be, uh, we don't normally do really, really, really budget stuff, but this is a Starter Fender acoustic guitar. And a uh, customer just bought this, literally, like, got it yesterday. And he brought it in for a setup. So let's go over and see what kind of quality Fender's putting out for the price. Okay, so this is the Fender Classic Design. I'm sure you can see it there. CC 140 SCE, SB for sunburst. Okay, it's your standard kind of grand concert shape. Um, nothing special about the saddles or the pins or the bridge. Pick guard, I like when you can see through the pick guard. It's just a higher quality than, than printing something, so that's pretty good. Um, mother of toilet seat, celluloid inlay, I'm sure. Burst. That's good for the price range. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, binding. Looks pretty good. Five layer. Or four layer. Yeah, four layer. Really tiny dots on the neck. Not that that affects much, but some people might care. Tuners, just generic tuners. Not cut decent. No big finish flaws from what I can see. So good job finish department. Check the back. It's really nice wood grain on the back. This one does have a pickup. So this is a Fishman pickup. Those knobs are a little bit weird. I can imagine being a little lost on where it is because there's not a clear indicator. It's just kind of sloping in one direction. Um, but I'm sure Fishman stuff sounds good. Strap buttons are decent. Let's check the plug down at the bottom. Yeah, this is pretty standard now. I love these ones just because it's easy to uh, change out your battery. They used to hide them inside the sound hole and so you could only really do it with tuning your guitar down really low or uh, you change your battery when you restring. So let's uh, get this in the hand and see what we think. Plug it in, check it out. Okay, so now onto the feel. Now the neck profile is good. It's uh, as it's your standard, pretty much everything mid-grade, uh, beginner grade acoustic guitar. The fret sprout is horrible on this. Um, I expect this from some other brands, but not Fender. This is maybe some of the stuff that says Starcaster, but this is like, this will grind your fingers up really bad on both sides. It's not really dry here in San Diego right now, so I'm not sure why this is doing that. Um, tuners, yeah. Weight's good. Okay, let's try it out. Real sparky. Kind of spanky strings. I got some oh high frets yeah that's crazy that is unusably high frets right now and it's into pitch that's crazy it's a really high 15th fret now the truss rod Truss rod's straight. I can do some weird stuff to this to get it to play, but there's a slight twist in the neck to the left-hand side, and it's one or two high bad frets. So um, let me fix this up a little bit just so that we can do a, a reasonable uh, tone and playability. Um, but yeah, listen to that. That's crazy. From the factory. Horrible. So I don't know if um, I'll try to ask the customer and see if they bought it from Amazon. Maybe this was sitting in their warehouse for, I don't know, sitting in hell in the middle of the desert or something. Um, but this is not a good representation. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can fix it up. Okay. Just a follow up. I just did four big turns on the truss rod. Same problem. This is definitely, this one needs to be returned to the factory and their QC people Fired. 
cheap sounding, no real good bass response, but um, this is not a very good starter guitar. This is probably one of the most frustrating things I've seen come out of Fender yet. So uh, let's see. Yeah, hopefully maybe I get another one in here and we can uh, give it some better marks, but they got to step it up. Okay, just to do a full test, I'm going to plug it in so we can check out the pickup and see if that's pretty decent. Okay, we're plugged in, volume's maxed, treble's in the middle, bass is in the middle. Good pickup. Crystal clear. Nice full bass response. I'll give him a, an A for uh, the pickup and a D and F for the neck and the fretting. Finish is good. Um, yeah, can't win them all, I guess. So keep in mind, you might want to make sure that your uh, Fender, if you buy one of these, uh, bring them into a shop, make sure they can check out the neck. Make sure you don't get a bunk one because apparently that's what we have to check for. Okay, hit like and subscribe down in the comments so I can keep making these videos. Let me know if there's a product you want me to check out down in the comments. If you do have one of these guitars, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you have to sink some money into it to get it to play? Or did we get the one out of 20 that's really bad? Um, so yeah, let me know. We'll talk to you soon.